Hello everyone! In a previous video, I explained what uniqueness is in Sudoku, and I reviewed six different types of unique rectangles. This video is about the seventh type of unique rectangle, the hidden rectangle. It's called a hidden rectangle because the pattern is not so obvious, but the logic is still the same and follows the uniqueness rule that every valid Sudoku puzzle must have one and only one unique solution. Let's take a look at this first example, and first I'll show you how to find the hidden rectangle, and then I'll explain how we can use this to eliminate candidates. So first let's highlight all the by-value cells. Those are the cells with just two candidates, and here I have all the by-value cells highlighted in yellow. Now we need to look for another cell in the same row and column, that has the exact two candidates. It doesn't need to be a by-value cell, but it needs to have the same two candidates in the row and column to create a rectangle pattern. So for example, here in block one, there's a by-value cell with the candidates six and nine. And across the row is another by-value cell with, again, the candidates six and nine. But looking down both of these columns, there are no cells with the six, nine as candidates, so that doesn't give us a rectangle pattern on the six and nine. Now let's take a look at this by value cell in the first row. It has the candidates four and seven. Okay, let me get rid of the other highlighted cells so we can concentrate on just that by value cell. Now in the same row, this cell in column 9 also has the candidates 4 and 7 hiding together with a 5 and a 9. Great, now let's look down the columns and see if we can find a rectangle pattern on the 4 and 7. And looking down column 8, this cell has a 4 and a 7 hiding together with a 3. And looking down column 9, this cell has a 4 and a 7 hiding with a 3 and a 5. So we've identified the hidden rectangle formed by these four cells. Great. Wait, we also have to make sure that this follows the two by two by two rule of unique rectangles. That means the cells in the rectangles have to be in two rows, and they are, two columns, and they are, and two blocks, and they are. So yes, this is a possible hidden rectangle pattern. I'll have some more examples later in this video, but let's continue on with this example. So now we have the four cells making up the hidden rectangle. The next step is to look at the cell diagonally opposite the by-value cell we first identified in the first row, column 8. The cell diagonally opposite the by-value cell has the possible candidates 4 and 7 hiding along with a 3 and a 5. But let's just focus on the 4 and the 7, and we can see that there are no other 7s in the row, column, or block outside of the rectangle pattern, right? The only other 7s are part of the 4 highlighted cells that make up the rectangle pattern. But the 4 does appear outside of the rectangle. We can see the 4 in the same row, and in the same column, and in the same block. So the 4 in this cell can be eliminated. Before I do that, let's take a look at the logic behind why I can eliminate the 4. Let's take a closer look at these 4 cells, and let's say they only had the candidates 4 and 7 in them, like this. So now we have a unique rectangle pattern, and the puzzle has more than one solution, which breaks the uniqueness rule in Sudoku that a puzzle must have one and only one solution. You see, if these four cells are only fours and sevens, then these two cells could be the fours, and these two cells could be the sevens, or these two cells could be the fours, and these two the sevens. It could be either way without affecting the rest of the puzzle, meaning that there's more than one solution to this puzzle, and that can't be. Okay, let's put the puzzle back the way it was, and now let's see what would happen if this cell was a four. Then that would force these two cells to be sevens, right? Since there are no other sevens in the row or column or block, so these two cells would now be sevens, making this by value cell a four. And now we have the deadly pattern where the puzzle has more than one solution. 
so this can't be. This cell, therefore, can't be a 4, and we can eliminate this 4. Now, this puzzle still needs a lot more work, but eliminating that 4 gets us one step closer to solving this. Okay, this video is just about hidden rectangles, so let's move on to another example. Can you spot the hidden rectangle? Well, look for by-value cells and then look for another cell in the same row and column that has the exact two candidates and fits the 2 by 2 by 2 rule, meaning that it forms a rectangle with two rows, two columns, and two blocks. Okay, here we have a by-value cell with a 5-7 that fits the pattern. In the same row, there's another 5-7 cell hiding together with a whole bunch of other candidates. And then we have this cell in the same column as the by-value cell. And this cell has a 5-7 hiding together with a 6. And here, across that row, is a 5-7 together with a 1, 3, and an 8. So these four cells make up our hidden rectangle on the 5 and 7, and it follows the 2 by 2 by 2 rule. The cells are in two rows, two columns, and two blocks. Now, the way this works is to focus on the by-value cell with only a 5 and a 7, and then look diagonally across from that cell. So look at this cell with the 5, 7, but also a 1, 3, and an 8. Now, if we look across this row, we see that there are only two sevens in the row. And if we look up and down the column, there are no other sevens in the column either. Just the sevens in the highlighted cells. And also in the block, there are no other sevens. But there are fives in the row, column, and block. So the other candidate, the five, can be eliminated. Let's take a closer look at why this cell cannot be a 5. Why can we eliminate it? Well, let's say that this cell was a 5. Then that would force this cell to be a 7, since there are no other 7s in the row. And it would also force this cell to be a 7, since there are no other 7s in the column, which makes this cell a 5. And now we have the classic deadly pattern with a puzzle having more than one solution, since this could be the configuration with these two cells 5s and these two cells 7s. But if we switch the 5s and the 7s around like this, then there would be no effect on the rest of the puzzle. And so we would have a puzzle with two possible solutions. And of course, that can't be. So to avoid that scenario, this cell can't be a 5 and it can be eliminated. How about one more example? Here it is. Now take a moment and see if you can find the by value cell making up the hidden rectangle. Here, let me highlight all the by value cells. Now look for one that has the same numbers across the row and down the column to form a hidden rectangle. Let's start with this cell in block one with a one four. Looking across the row, there are no cells with a 1, 4, so that's not going to give us a possible hidden rectangle. Next, in block 2, we have a 1, 7. Looking across the row, we see this cell with a 1, 7. And then in the same column, we see this cell with a 1, 7. But there are no other cells opposite with a 1, 7 to complete the rectangle pattern, so that won't work. We can continue looking at the next couple of cells until we come to this cell in block 4 with a 6 and an 8. And now we find a hidden pattern. Let me highlight just that cell. Okay, now do you see the hidden rectangle pattern? In the same row next to it is a cell with a 6, 8 hiding with a 4. So let's highlight that. Now what about in the same column? Do you see it? Well, in the same column as the original by-value cell is another 6, 8, this time hiding with a 2 and a 3. And can we complete the pattern? Yes, this cell right next to it in the same row has a 6, 8 hiding with a 2 and a 9. So here we have a rectangular pattern. Now, one more thing to check. Does it follow the 2 by 2 by 2 rule? That is, is it in two rows, two columns, and two blocks? Yes, these two rows, these two columns, and these two blocks. So we're good. Now, all you have to do 
is take the cell opposite the original bivalue cell we identified with the six and eight. So that cell is this one. And then look across the row and down the column and see if there are any other sixes or eights. There are no other sixes in the row, nor in the column, nor in the block, other than the sixes in the highlighted cells as part of the rectangle pattern. So that means we can eliminate the other candidate, the eight. We can do that without going through the logic of why it works each time. But since this is a tutorial, let's review that logic one last time. To show why this cell can't be an eight, let's assume that it is an eight. Then that would force this cell to be a six, since there are no other sixes in the row. And it would force this cell to be a six, since there are no other sixes in the column. And that would make this an eight. And now we have that classic deadly pattern that breaks the uniqueness rule. And that can't be. So you see, these four cells could be like this, eight, six, six, eight. Or it could be like this, six, eight. 8, 6, without affecting the other cells in the puzzle. And then this puzzle would have more than one solution. So since that would be an impossible scenario, let's put things back the way they were. Okay, so that would be an impossible scenario, and that means this cell can't be an 8, and it can be eliminated. Simple and elegant at the same time, don't you think? That's it for The Hidden Rectangle. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.